Hello, Martin, is it? Yeah, who's this? Hi, Martin, it's Louise. I need you to come to the door to talk to you for a moment, please. Guys, if anybody knows our location, please do not give it out on the live. Now the call for a minute. Yeah. Thank you. Now, Martin, we need to talk to you am for I, a moment. Am I in trouble? No, no, no. Listen, you're not going to be in any way to harm or anything. Join just close door because yeah, it's so it's cold. Freezing. Right now, I'm going to let you know who I am. My name is Louise Grace. Okay. I'm from an agency called Child Protection Awareness, Martin. No problem. And we need to. We'll come here to talk to you about who you've been talking to online. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Do you want to wear a No, 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 no. Here, listen, here's fine, here's fine. I've got a sand here, it's very cold. Now, Martin, I'm just going to tell you now, I am recording this. Yeah, no problem. Safety and my safety, yes, okay? Yes, no problem, I swear. Okay, so do you want to tell me who you've been talking to online? Uh, two girls, but... but two girls. Who are the two girls? I, I actually don't know. You don't know? Did they not tell you who they were? One said... No, I'm, I'm, I'm the team that said about 18. Okay. No, but... <coughs> Nothing, nothing has ever Here's happened. Come back for a sec. I haven't done anything wrong. You haven't done that wrong. So I, I didn't, I didn't meet him in 1989. You didn't mean anything. I didn't meet him. Oh, you didn't meet him. I didn't meet him. I, no, I didn't. Well, uh, listen to me. Regardless of now, we'll just keep it down so your neighbours don't hear, okay? Regardless of meeting them, what was in the chats? Um. Anything, right, I'll, let me be specific. Do, do was there anything sexual in the chats? No, Martin. No, I think there was one or two. There was one or two. One or two. Okay, well, okay, listen, you're best being no, honest, okay? That's it. That was it. There was, there was, not, there was nothing. I, I had no intention of meeting anyone. Okay. I, I'm, not, I'm not like that. Well, not like what? Mm. A paedophile. You're not a paedophile. Oh, yeah, we, okay. we never called it a paedophile. You, you did, okay? You called yourself one. Now, Martin, one of these was 13 and one was 14. Oh, okay, sorry. It'll never happen again. Well, like, it's too late for sorry, it never happened again. Now, Martin, I'm just going to go through with you, right? You said hello and she said hi back. She told you, I'm 14. What about you? Sorry, I'm 49. I'm okay? Judge, yeah. Now, you went on then to send a picture of you lying down with your jeans open and your underpants on. Is that correct? Correct, yes. Okay, so that is you. You're confirming that's you. Right, yes. Okay, well, look, in fairness to you, you're being am honest. I am I going to be arrested? That's up to the guardie. Now, can I ask you what that, that is, Mark? My penis. Okay, and do you think that's appropriate to send to a child? No. These are our children, Mark. Yes. And you're preying on our children. I apologise. Right, do you, do you have a sexual, um, the children, your sexual preference? No. Can you not get women your own age? I can, yeah. I've, 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 I've two kids. Who old are your children? Don't name names, but who old are your children? Three and four. And are they girls? Two boys, yeah. Two boys, okay. So what would you do, Martin, if someone prayed on your two boys online? 
and I send them pictures of themselves. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like it. You wouldn't like it? Then why do it to our children? I, I, I apologise for Your apology means nothing. Your apology means mm -hmm. nothing, Martin. These could have been real children. As far as we're concerned, you could have been talking to real children. Yes. And sending these awful things, right? You told this girl you loved her, right? You wanted to know about her, right? Uh, would you like me to tuck you into bed? We took our children into bed to be safe. But you had other ideas. I know, I had no. You didn't? No. Okay, no, well, let's go no, on. No, no, no. Um, like, like, like I say, I, I would never ever harm any children or any person like that. I, I mean, you live right across the road, road from two schools. But I, you live right around, and we rang a, a neighbour's doorbell here, and a child answered. But I. Is that a girl or a little girl or a boy? I don't. I don't well, you, they're your neighbour, so you know. I, I went to social with them. Did you see them? I didn't ask they're, you. They're, they're two them. boys. Two boys. All right. She asked you why did you want to tuck her into bed so I could keep you nice and warm, kiss you all over your hot body. Would you like me to kiss you? And what would you do to me? Are you going to sleep, sleep now, love? We can wash together. Uh, I will let you sleep because she said she was tired, right? Then it went on and you said you were cold. Okay, baby, enjoy your day at school. So you knew she was a school going child. And you prayed on her, Martin. Right? I, I know I'm going to be too. I know I'm going to, I'm going to go to jail for this. Well, if you do, it's guess it, whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? It is your own fault, right? Uh, you told her that you loved her, right? And she said, why? Because you're an amazing young lady who is with me in my heart, right? Um, what would you like me to call you? Baby or babe? She's 13. 13. And you've every right to hang your head in shame. You're sitting up there praying on our children. I We've all drove a long way to catch you. I apologise. Well, uh, listen, your apology to me will go on deaf ears because I've absolutely no sympathy for you. None whatsoever. Do you so, want to the girls know I get myself arrested? No, 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 the girls be called down a minute. Right, you told her she was sexy. You asked her what time was her break in school, right? Uh, let me just go on here. You asked her again how the school was. Right, would you not be boring with me? You wanted to kiss and cuddle her, right? You told her she had sexy lips. Uh, you'll teach her how to kiss, right? You called her Connor love then. You told her you wanted to break the hymen of her vagina. No. What's that say? Read it. What? Read it. Read it out. Which one is it? Which one is it? What's in front of you? Read it out. Yeah, you were to believe to him what's with Jane. Yeah. Did you think that's appropriate to send to a child? No, I didn't know. No, and then you tell us that you're not a paedophile. I... You're a sexual predator is what you are. You're a paedophile when you're, fa when you're found guilty in court. But you are a sexual predator. You're preying on our children. Right? You told her she was, you were thinking of her. You told her you had a dream that you and her made love. Right? You told her you can't have any more children. Uh, that but you'd wear a condom if she wanted to. to. Am I right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Come in and tell you, don't be rude to me. When I ask you a question, answer. Don't shake Sorry, your head. I apologise. Yes. Yeah, so you should apologise, right? Uh, she asked you what were you going on about and you said, oh, I'll leave you alone, right? Then you go on to tell her that you're going to hang yourself. Am I right? Yes. So do you think that's fucking right to say to a child, and put that on her fucking conscience no, for the rest of her life. No, it is not. Pardon? No, it is not right. No, it's not fucking right. And how dare you? I'd hand you a fucking rope myself now, I would. Because, do you know what? That's the only cure for sexual predators, is a rope. Do you see your children? No. Why? Because I don't do it myself and the mother and aunt together. That's, that's no excuse not to see your children. Well... I don't want to know any of your ex's business and don't name her. No, I... We're not... We're seeing each other, but... She's married. I just said don't tell me any of your ex's business. 
And yet you just told me she's married. Why do you not see your children? I saw him, I saw him for the birthdays last week and the week before. You think you do see them? I, but I don't, I only saw him for uh, two minutes to, just to give him the birthday presents and that was it. I, was, I didn't see him Do anymore. you pay maintenance for your kids? Or I the am, decoy has I started paying maintenance. You're starting? Well, I, I was paying 100 euros a month. Because at the moment I'm, I'm not working. Well, I tell you one thing, you don't look fucking underfed to me. Do you want to go and see what, what I don't give a shit what's in your presses. I fridge? don't I don't give a shit what's in your presses. Do you drink? Yeah, you do drink. Because you've told her decoys you go out drinking. So how about you don't fucking drink and you send the money to raise your children? Every parent has to make a sacrifice. I meant I meant sacrifices. Exactly. Twenty-five quid a week. What do what, what you expect no, a mother to get a bag of fucking I'm, rice? I'm paying, I'm, I thought I'd, I'd be paying 200 euros a month. You told her? I, I said to her today. I, I, oh, you said to her today. Do you know what? You're full of bleeding bullshit. I'm not. If you, if you want to... Now, but look, look, let's get back to the chats. You're a deadbeat fucking waster anyway. We know that for sure. You're probably your kids are better off without you, right? So let me get this straight. Then you go again and you tell her that you're going to hang yourself, right? And she said, I don't understand. I mean, you, then you started to explain, I'm going away to kill myself. Why? That's why. See you take care. Do you fucking think this is right to say to a child? No, it is not. We were going to bust your door in mm -hmm. to safeguard you. We have to safeguard you to the guard you come. Mm -hmm. So you don't do harm to yourself. Mm -hmm. Are you well known around this area? And don't say what area it is. Are you well known around this area? Oh, how was my children? Were you born and raised around here? I was born and raised in the Right, so uh, uh, I guess I don't say the area. Jesus. Right? Then you go on and she's asking you not to touch, not to be, do that and sin. Goodbye, Rachel. And she mm -hmm. goes, Where are you going? Why? See it around. You will meet someone. How fucking sick are you? If this had been a real child, could you imagine? What could have been gone through a whore head? No, you don't, because do. you don't give I a do. flying I, fuck. I, I do. I you don't do. give a flying shit. I do. No, you do now because I'm standing in front of you. That's the only reason you give a shit. Did you apologise to her before then for saying it? No. And then you went on to another decoy and you started pulling off the same bullshit with her. So you're not one bit sorry. So don't fucking stand there and tell me you're sorry. Because you're not sorry. You're only sorry because we're standing in front of you. Sorry because you're caught, is that it? No, I'm, I'm sorry for, for, for it happening in, in, in the first place. Mm. Yeah. Let me get this. Um, you live very close to two schools, Martin. I do, yes. That's what concerned me. Don't say what schools. That's what concerned me. The, you don't have to be concerned at all after this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do any, I, I wouldn't do any to talk children or anything like that. You wouldn't, yeah. but yet you're talking to at least four children that we know of. At least. Are there many more? No. Okay. You sure? 100% sure. Because they're all going to come forward now, you know that your face is out there. They're all going to come forward. I, I've, I've, what are their names? What are, the, what are the children's names that you're talking to? Who are you talking to? Michelle. Don't say surnames, first names. Michelle. Clara. That's not true now, is it? Were you talking to Rachel? Who's Rachel? I think you were talking to a Rachel there just before Christmas, weren't you? Okay. You have a fascination with getting children into the shower. Yeah, you do. You said that you want them to use cold water in the shower, and you want to kiss their sexy bodies all over. But I, I, I have nothing. I have done anything to um, men. I have done anything. Okay, so you're talking to children, and you're telling them. You want to do all this, but you think that's okay because you haven't met them? No, it's not okay. It's a, it's, it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. It is a disgrace. 
So if you met these children, what would you have done with them? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. I put my hand in my hand and say absolutely nothing. So why would you want to meet them? Because you were arranging to meet these girls. No, I wasn't meeting, I wasn't meeting anyone. Yeah, you were. You were arranging to meet these girls. Were you, no. not supposed to, were you not supposed to meet one of them today? Give them no. an Easter egg. Or no, come and no, eat, eat the no, reason. No, 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 excuse no, me, just, excuse me, no, excuse me. No. We have all the chat box with us. They, they, they said that, that they were going to give me an Easter egg. I wasn't going to ask me, did I get an Easter egg? Yeah. And he said no. Mm. And she said that, that she did that she bring me one. Yeah. And we, we and did it together. And you two were going to sit down and eat it together, weren't you? And they said, no, I, no, I didn't. No, no, you didn't say no. No, no I, I, no, I. Well, look, listen, it's like this. And anyway, uh, you told her that you had a very nice cup of soup for your dinner, right? Sorry? You had a cup of soup for your dinner. Right? Today? No, no. This has gone back. Martin, we're on you months now. This has gone back since last November. Okay. But you've been a sneaky fucker. That's for sure. Right? You told her that you were hungry for her. She's a fucking child. She's 14. Yeah, hey, you look confused. Read it there. What does it say? Yeah, oh, you don't want to read it now, do you not? Yeah. Right? Honest to God. You asked her, was she looking at all the young men? Right? Do you know what you said, you know, do you know what you said to her at Christmas? Yeah, no, I'm going to say that you asked her, does she fancy any boys or girls who she fancied? Do you think, do you think that's no, appropriate to no, say? No. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, here's your neighbour out. How's going? Have you got a young child in there? No. You don't? Okay. Just, I'm going to cross over there, Sam. Put it down to the floor. Wrong. I'll tell you in a minute. That's all right. Okay. Can you come back in? That's all right. Can you come back in? Right. So Martin, this is this chap here is going back to November and December. That's just what one decoy. Right? She you start to say to her that uh, I really do fancy you. So you fancy a 14 year old. So your sexual preference is children. No, well, why say this? It's not, it's not like preference. Of course it's a preference. If you fancy somebody, that's a preference. If Damien fancies me, that's because we're two grown adults. You fancy a child, so you might as well fucking admit it. I don't fancy any children. What does that say? What does it say? What does it say? I really do fancy you. I really do fancy you. To a 14 year old. Put that down there. Do you think that's appropriate? No. No. So do you fancy a 14 year old? No. Alright. Can you make one phone call? No, you can't. The guards will let you make a phone call. Who do you want to make a phone call to? My, my partner. Your pa oh, you have a partner? Does she live with you? She and we have, our, we have our own places. Yeah, so you have a girlfriend, have you? I have, yes. And you're grooming children online for months and months. Does she know about this? No. I'm disgusting. Now, here's the most. Does she have children? Part. Yeah, does she have children? She's a 22 year old daughter. And uh, does she have children? 22 year old. Right. Here's the most sickening part for me when I read Will I be Santa and empty my sack into you, love? Yeah, hang your fucking head in shame. Disgusting. And she said she didn't understand. Will I empty my sack of sperm into you? So your intentions is very fucking clear here. Very clear. Look at me when I'm speaking to you. Weren't your intentions very clear? Oh, yes. Yes. So now do you, do you, the bullshit you were saying at the beginning, oh no, I wasn't gonna do anything and, and then I didn't say anything. What's this? I was having, I was having a laugh and a joke at the time, and I, and I didn't, I didn't mean any, any harm to anyone. You were having a laugh and a joke at our children's expense. Are you for fucking real? 
Are you serious I, I with me? I think don't know, then. Answer me when I'm speaking to you. Are you for fucking real? I am, yes. You are having a laugh and a joke at our children's no, expense. I'm, no, I, I'm not. Do you think that's fucking no, appropriate no, to no, say to children? No, no. Are the guards been done? Don't worry about the guards. Be here when they're here. What? Am I, am I that fucking scary to you that you want to fuck off in a guard car? Yeah. Yeah, good. I'm fucking glad I'm scared of you. Now you know how our children feel. Put your head up when I'm speaking to you. I, we've all drove a long fucking way to get here. Don't be rude and ignorant to me. You told her you were dreaming about her. What were you dreaming about? Nothing. Nothing? Oh, that's funny, because your next sentence was you were dreaming of our body. So do you want to start actually being honest with me? Because I can keep going with this. This is only one chat log. Don't fucking shrug your shoulders at me. I'm, I'm, this is I'm only not... one chat log. Sandra has another yeah, one. Can I have a smoke a cigarette? No, you can't. No, you can't smoke a cigarette. You don't deserve one. You told her she was sexy and hot. Do you think that's appropriate to a 14 year old? You asked her if she's shy. You told her she was beautiful and very sexy young lady. She's not a fucking lady. She's a baby. How sick are you? Then you asked what time she was leaving school at. So you knew she was a school child. Yeah. So, you, so are you admitting you prey on children? Well, I'm praying on children. There's two schools. What the fuck is this? There's two schools. What the fuck is this? There's two schools. Shut up! Shut up! What the fuck is this, shut shut up. Up. What the fuck is this on your phone? On the phone, you're preying on children. Your window overlooks every apartment, I, I, overlooks I, two I, schools. I don't. I don't pay any children over. Have it, you received any photographs from children? Sorry. Have you received any photographs from children? No. Any at all? You're thinking about that one. Have you received any? Uh, just the the faces. Just their faces, naked ones. No. Because let me tell you, the guards are going to take your phone, and it doesn't matter what you've deleted off that phone since you have it. The guards can get it all back yeah, because it, no they're problem. specialists in it. That's no problem. Then you're sending her loads of love, love, love hearts. Then you actually say to her, "I've really fallen in love with you." I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was messing with that. Messing. Yeah. So you do think our fucking kids are laughing and joking? Mm, no. So what's your girlfriend gonna say about this? She must be. Yeah, right. You fucking so. Yeah. Not being funny. The fucking state here. The tide wouldn't take you out. This is dead. Right. You just take over there. No problem. Hello. Martin, I'm very interested in the fact that you're living across from two schools. You've got a little infant school down the road there. Not a minute's walk. Don't say the name of it. Sorry? Don't say the name of the school. Yeah. So what do you do? Stand upstairs looking out the window at the schools? There's plenty of, plenty of apartments in this area. Why, why here? I don't be here all day long. I don't, I don't, I don't be here all day long. She just said you don't work. So where do you be all day long? About my past in the house. So you didn't choose to stay in this house or in this apartment because the two schools across the road and you're no, overlooking no, playgrounds? No, no. No, while well, you're talking to 13 year old children. No, child protection awareness. How would you. Well, obviously, we have it. Go back there and back to the episode, please. I don't understand what you're saying. I'm asking you, you there's plenty of apartments in this area for rent. All right. Well, I, Just wait now. Hold on. You asked me to ask you. There's plenty of apartments around the area, and yet you choose to live directly opposite two schools. When, when two I, schools, not one school. I, two schools. I'm in here for the last day. She's too tall to the Oh, that's very worrying, isn't it? Considering you're here six years, living opposite two schools, looking at children in the playground. That, 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 my my, my own niece. Over don't say names. Whatever you do, don't no, saying, don't say where we are. Don't say where we are. But I'm just concerned that you're living opposite two schools, watching over playgrounds. That's what concerns me. No, just 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 that. Just that. We've already got about that.
But you're telling me you haven't been over there looking at the kids in, or looking in, out your in, top window looking at no, the kids because no. you can see them in the playground? No. No. No, I, I, I don't. So you're the last six years living here and you've never looked out your top window? I, I look at them. I look at them. I have nothing to look over there for. You have nothing to look over there for? No. Is that because you've got plenty of... Um, Opportunity to talk to kids on no, the phone. No, no, it isn't. Martin's living here six years. Six years. No, you can't. No, you can't. We. I'm actually speaking to the guards saying we have safeguarding issues. Okay, but we are not allowed to let you into the department. Why are you looking confused for? We told our decoy you were going to hang yourself and kill yourself. You want us to let you into an apartment with knives and whatever? No, no, no. You won't be going anywhere. Is your mouth dry, is it? Yeah. Your hands were shot. No. He's not allowed to enter your apartment. He's not allowed to enter your apartment, okay? Why are you looking for me? That's what I want. What part of no do you not understand? The guards will get you a drink of water. Yes, um, overlooking schools for the past six years. Two schools, preschool. Two schools, well. baby school, infants. You're a massive danger to our children. Yeah. And you know what the sad part about it is? You're fucking denying it. I, I, I'm not denying anything. You, you have to lie. It, 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 there's, two, there's two schools across the road. Yeah. I don't, I don't go over at all. I didn't say you go over. There's nothing stopping you looking out your window. What do you Are think should happen to you? Sorry. Have you not a taste in your mouth? Is this one bone dry? It's bone dry, is it? Yeah. That's what happens when you're a sexual predator. Nerves. And you're standing in front of us. It's nerves. What do you think should happen to you now, Martin? Like, do you think you've done something wrong, or do you think, like, sure, it was just a laugh and a joke, like you said? No, it's a laugh and a joke. I don't think it's a joke. Okay, so what do you think you did wrong? Talk to school, school children. So when they told you they were 13, what should you have done? Walked away. Walked away. What do you think of groups like ours? Sorry? What do you think of groups like ours? What do you mean? That come and confront sexual predators. Very good. Very good. Yeah, because we get the likes of you off the street. And sometimes no, we don't even, the guys will probably give you a slap on the wrist. Okay? But well, we're That's about you. exposure. Yeah. We're about exposure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So everybody around here, your location will be given out after this because you're, you're live on Facebook with 2,000 people watching you. Okay? No problem. No problem. I'm glad you see it as no problem. I understand. I understand. Right? Your location will be given out after the live feed because obviously, as I said, we have to safeguard you. Right? Now, do you think you'll be able to probably come back here? No. No? Why is that? Where are you going to go? Too fucking bad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a wet night out there. Do you have any black bags? Keep you dry? Yeah? Maybe your neighbours will give you a black bag. Martin, you were talking to this girl called Clara for months. First thing, you said, hi Clara. She said, hi Martin. How are you? Good. Still got homework to finish for school. Straight away, two sentences in, she told you she was in school yeah. and she was doing her homework. Yes. I you said, where are you I from? Said, she said she said she's from Cork. She said she's from Cork. And she said she is 14. Yes. 14. And what should you have done, Martin, when she said, what? I am 14? Just left it at that in Absolutely. You told her you were living where you're living. And she said she was there on a school trip once. Martin, this is like five sentences in, she's telling me. Yeah. She's doing her homework, yeah, she's 14. Yeah, is your legs weak, are they? Is your legs weak? No, I don't know. Sit down for a second, please. Why do you want to sit down? What's wrong with standing? I'm saying so. It's a simple question. I'm not telling you you have to stand. You can say it if you want, but I'm asking you what's wrong with standing. Why do you, are you feeling weak? Yeah. Well, then sit down. She told you that she went there once for a school trip, which is 
this county here that we're in. Look at Sam when she's talking she don't be rude, I told you already. And you said, really? And she said, yes, it was nice. Just like you. And she said, thanks. And sexy. This is within the first two minutes of talking to her. You're telling her she's sexy. 14 years of age. Do you think that's appropriate? No. Why did you do it? If it's not appropriate, why did you do it? Why did you tell her she was sexy? I don't know. What gives you the right to talk to our daughters like that? I have no right to talk to You have no right to talk to our daughters like that. How dare you? These are innocent girls. Yeah. Children. If you put your hands on these girls, you'd destroy them for life. They have to live with that for life. It affects them all the way through their lives. Is that what you wanted, Martin? No, she's To destroy right. somebody's life? No. But well, that's what would have happened. I understand that. You understand. But still you went on and did it with at least three other children that we know of. Anthony, if you know the location, please don't give it out. Someone knows you, that's on the life. Watching you. No. Yeah. Mm. You said your name and all on the life. Mm. In the comment section. It doesn't matter who. Facebook? Pardon? I'm, I'm... You are, this has been live streamed to Facebook. And one of your neighbours is watching. That knows you. From right there? Yes. Martin, you went on to ask Clara for photos. And you offered to send photos of you. I sent them for a photo of my face the other day. Oh, very good. He remembered. Very good. There's yeah. his photo. That's what he sent. Yeah. Massive you are. Yeah. I, I just, I just tell the truth. Right, tell the truth. Right, do you want to tell the truth? How long have you got a sexual attraction to young girls? I have no sexual attraction. Well, then you're fucking me. lying already. So don't tell me you're going to tell the truth. We have about four decoys on you so far. So far. So far. That's not including the real children. Look at me when I'm speaking to you. That's not including the real children, right? So if you want to tell the truth, start telling the truth. Don't lie to me. I am telling the truth. Okay then. How long have you got a sexual attraction to young girls? I don't have a sexual attraction to young girls. But then why the fuck are you talking to them like this? Why do, why do you send them indecent pictures of yourself? Wow, you're so hot and very sexy. She's 14. She's 40, you asked for a photo, she sent you one of herself and her friend Sorry. in her, in her house. Sorry. Ian Thompson, don't be asking people to announce the location or I'll delete and ban you. Sorry, Sam, mm. go ahead. Mm. Right. Oh. I don't even know where I am, this is so much of it. Months and months and months of it. She's telling you, she's going to school, she's back from school, it's spilling rain. You're asking her about getting into the shower. You want to, you want to wash her in the shower. Mm. Make one, make one, make one, make one. No! The guardian will let you make a call. What are you going to say to her? Hello? How are you doing today, love? Happy Easter. By the way, I'm a sexual predator. Fucking unbelievable you are. Do you know what? You're sitting there biting your nails and all you're thinking about is yourself. Me, 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 me. Yeah. yeah, it is. Because you're not telling the truth. You're not telling the truth. You need to tell the truth if what I, you've been doing. If I was a sexual predator, I would, I would have... Come here. There's many forms of a sexual predator. Many. You're an online sexual predator. Who's to say, you, you told one of our decoys that you like going around your apartment. Look at me when I'm speaking to you. You like going around your apartment naked. So are you standing at your window naked? No, I'm not. Jacking off to watching no, the young kids no, going by? No. Don't fucking believe it for a minute. Clara goes on to tell Martin that she likes horse riding. And he said, cool, I used to like riding my ex-girlfriend, but we split up. So you ride women, do you? Classy bloke. Asking her for more photos. I mean, how many times can you ask her? Photos, photos. She sent you one of her on a horse from when she was younger. You look so sexy on the horse. And you have beautiful breasts. If you said that to a 14, I'll tell you something you'd say to my 14 year old once. You wouldn't be saying it again. Listen, I mean I tell you, look at me. 
Right? You're lucky it's us standing here. What were we, I tell you one thing, if that was my fucking daughter, I wouldn't be standing here live streaming it. That's for sure. Do you understand that? You're very lucky that we're not parents of children that you've actually groomed. What would happen to you? Yeah, of course you would. Why? Because people hate sexual predators and paedophiles. You go on to say to her that uh, she's, she's after being at the dentist, so you won't be able to kiss your boyfriend. He, he. She said, I don't have a boyfriend. She's only 14. That's a pity, said Jim. You said, I had to like strip to my outside. underwear because of that so outside. Yeah, here's the guardian now. Move up the step. Move up the step, wait for the gym. How's it going? How are you doing? So, we have Martin here. who has been grooming children online. How are you grooming? Uh, uh, it's, mm-hmm. Let me speak. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get a couple of seconds, please. Wait, wait, I can't. Yeah, I want, you can go and get a bit. I just want to get a cigarette. Okay, yeah. I want, I want, wait, I want to see you. I can do one. I think we'll need to get a time. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Like, I think you're just smoking a light off. Huh? <laughs> okay, guys, so we're still here. Gardy is here. And uh, we're on. Where are we Saxon Street. We're on Saxon Street in Limerick. Uh, this is the school right across from his apartment apartment is up there and that green building down there is where there's a preschool and as you can see the kids come out the gate there and he admit to our decoy there's a little playground where the kids come out and play school and their playtime and uh, he's admit to our decoy that he walks around his apartment naked so God only knows what he's been doing watching um, thing. <laughs> see though the fag you gave me fag yesterday at our sting <laughs> Not Sefton Street, Sexton Street. Um, yeah, Ivan's right across the road. Um, but he's an um, absolute massive danger. Also, um, his sexual preference is children because I got an adult decoy onto him. 
who was an absolute stunner and he had absolute no interest in her. Said hello, asked her how she was doing, that was it. The guys are gonna come for this, so I'm going to uh, cut off now. Take care.